Hey guys, Guy the Magic Mac again, and this is a good news, bad news video. Uh, the good news is it's end of season, and we've got some more glint to spend, but the bad news is I just checked Discord and had a couple messages, and they talked about um, the first day of the release of Jackpot Chess. They said over 250 million glint was spent just on the Ultimate Chess alone. Um, it far exceeded their expectations. The jackpot chests were intended to last for several months. Uh, in light of this incredible response, we recognize the need to adjust the formulas governing the jackpot chests. And this is one of the things I was afraid of. With them having a 1% chance of getting a jackpot, that is way too high. And you know where you were able to buy a um, hundred of them, you almost guaranteed that if you had the glint and spent what was it, 250,000 glint that you were going to get a jackpot prize. So they go through the numbers here. The total amount of glint that they had in the system was about 1.1 billion, and they burned a third of it just in the last 24 hours for the uh, for those jackpot chests. Um, and the good news is, in addition, they burned about 230, almost 235,000 soul bound cards. So what they did is they just um, everything down they adjusted down the number of chests that you can get per tranche. So now the minor chests, the, the costs are still still the same, they haven't changed. So 100 glint for the minor chests, but now you're capped at um, 100 per tranche. And instead of a one in 10,000 chance of a jackpot, it's now one in 100,000 or 0.001%. Uh, the major chests are still 500 glint, um, but you can only get 50 of those now instead of 500 uh, before the price goes up. And those went from a tenth of a percent to a hundredth of a percent. And the ultimate chest, still 2,500 glint, but now they're, you can only get 10 uh, per tranche before they go up in price. Um, and those went from 1% to a tenth of a percent. So um, your odds basically across the board have been decreased by a factor of 10 and the batch sizes have been decreased by a factor of 10. So a little bit of bad news there, but the good news is we still have the chest to open. Um, the drops for like cards and potions and all that, and the amounts that you can get are still the same. So we have uh, 34,000 glint. Um, my strategy hasn't changed. I'm still gonna try to get the uh, as many major chests as I can every season. So let's get 50 of those. For 25,000 glint. Let's see what we get for end of season. Yesterday I got lucky and I did end up getting a beta pack. I'm curious at how many beta packs actually were given away because they said I think there was a total of 1,000 that was going to be given away. I bet you they gave away at least uh, probably two or three hundred in that first day. So that's why, why they were probably kind of like, whoa, you know, we need to back off of this a little bit. Uh, the one thing I did not see anyone get or say that they got was a land plot. And I know there was, I think, 500 land plots. So my question was, okay, are they giving away all thousand beta packs first and then you could get a land plot? I don't know. If you, if you know anyone that got a land plot, please let me know. But let's get started here. So we've got some chests to open. See what we get. Starting with four legendary potions, three swamp spitters, six alchemy potions, one venari marks rat, five fire collars, 472 merits. So I'll definitely probably get some more uh, gladius cases to open. Three energy. 394 more merits, 5 alchemy, 5 legendary, 2 possessed puppets, 4 wily coyotes, 5 fire collars, 3 legendary potions, 579 merits, 604 merits, 6 legendary potions, 300 merits, 4 more energy, Yep, I definitely have to play a lot because I know my energy is going to be way above 50. Four Venari Marks Rats, so 710 Merits. I think it caps at 750 for these chests, so that's almost the max. 702, 442, yeah, definitely have some packs to get. Another Energy, 400 Merits, three Legendaries, two Energy, seven Alchemy, 600 merits, 6 legendary, 3 legendary, 
There's our first summoner, one Pembroke Nymph, five Legendary, five Alchemy, six Alchemy Potions, so tons of potions, three Alchemy Potions, 532 Merits, six more Alchemy. Okay, I think I'm set on Alchemy Potions for a while. 600 Merits. So this has been the, the Potion and Merit opening. Wow, look at Row of Merits. But that's going to get us some cases. So there we go. Six Imperial Knights. Four Alchemy. One Energy. Three Coastal Sentries. And wrapping up with... Oh, good. Well, we ended on a high note. We got three Summoners. But as you can see, if you watched my video yesterday, much, much different. I think I got way more Merits this time. Um, did not get an Epic or a Legendary. Didn't get um, any Gold Cards either. I think yesterday... I got uh, two gold cards out of my 40 draws. So overall, pretty average. Um, let's see what else we can get. So we've got 9,300 glint left. I really don't want to go for an ultimate chest because I know I'm going to end up just getting commons. You know, a 1 in 3 chance if I do get a card to begin with. So two-thirds chance I get either potions or merits, which I don't really need. I think I'd rather get um, some guaranteed cards. Um, let's get one epic, because I know I need epics. So let's get one epic card. You know, and then, of course, you always cross your fingers and hope it turns gold. But we'll get an epic, and then we'll get a few rares. Oh, that's different. So they changed the artwork for that, so that's cool. Oh, there we go. It'd refire. And then for rare draws, I think we can get eight. So hopefully we can get, whoops. So hopefully we can get a couple more summoners. And then we'll go open some Gladius cases. All right, so we got a War Pegasus, there we go, Helios Matriarch, Franz Roughmane, good, we're getting decent summoners, there we go, so this is probably the way to go for me, to get my summoners leveled, because odds are, you know, every other one should be a summoner, and that's how it happened, four out of eight were summoners, okay, so let's take a look at the collection, let's go to items, Let's look at own soul mound. Go with chaos. Okay, so this is what we got for commons. So we might be able to level the fire caller. Yep. So fire caller is level seven. Then we'll check the summoners. So I don't think any of these are going to level. He's probably getting close. Yep. Let's combine him real quick. Check the summoners. I think I still have a ways to go before I can get those leveled. Okay, look at rares. Okay, Pegasus might be able to level, but yep, not close. How much do I need for the nymph? 11. So I need four more of her. Then we'll get her to level 5, hopefully, in the next season. Oh, just enough of the War Pegasus. To get that to level 4. Not sure if it gets anything at level 4. I do like this card. I don't play life a whole lot, but that Shatter is very nice. Oh, level 4, it gets an extra attack. Even better. Okay, so and what else did we get? We got the one Epic card. Which, as you notice, I'm still am missing the water epic. So, might be getting a couple more epics when I get a decent amount of glint to try to get the uh, the water epic. Okay, so now let's take a look at the shop. Let's go to guild. So, we got 8,000 merits. So, we got enough for four cases. Awesome. So, we'll grab four cases. Let's go open them. 
Let's open all four. See if we can get a legendary. I don't have hardly any legendary cards for Gladius. Okay, starting with Whistling Daemon, use that card. Witch of Warwick, there's an Epic. Alba the Crusher, Hugo Strong Sword. Kind of surprised, only single copies. Oh, did they break these down one by one? Okay, they broke them down one by one. So that's a good pack. There's an Epic and a Rare. Another Whistling Daemon. Witch of Warwick and a Rare. Out of the Crusher. So no gold cards yet. I think that's my third is Gold. Catralba. Cool. Okay, so for the Rares, we got an Alfredo. Bane. Arella, and then our two epics, Marisol and Gorth, the dreaded Gorth. All right. Okay, so are there any Gladius cards that we can level up? So for epic, nothing really there. For rares, don't think there's anything here I can level. I think I need one more Afredo to get him to level 3. A couple more Captain Katie's to get her to 3. For com oh, Isgald. Isgald can now get to level 4. And it looks like Whistling Damon. I can get that one to level 4 as well. But this is going to be nice. So even though they did take away um, the jackpot, basically by, you know, made it 10 times harder to get a jackpot... They did not change the merit drops, so I think the merit drops are going to be one of the, the biggest things that you're going to really look forward to getting, because um, it's really going to help you uh, level your Gladius cards. Okay, so he is now level 4. But overall, at least for me personally, I think I'm going to stick with the uh, 500 glint chess. I'm not going to worry at all about the ultimate, because I think right now it's pretty, at least for me, it's going to be a waste. You know, to spend that much and then end up just getting, you know, potions or whatever. Because it's not guaranteed cards. It's only one in three. So I'm not going to go that route. And then from time to time, I will get the occasional epic card. But yeah, looking back at the shop. So I'm pretty much going to stick with major chests from now on. Uh, the next batch does go up to 750. But I think I'm still going to do those. Um, rare draws, I'm going to do that as well, just to try to level up my summoners. And instead of getting an ultimate chest from time to time, for me, I'm going to get an epic draw, you know, just to try to build up my epics. As you can see, I really need epics. It's just 5,000 is so expensive. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's my end of season rewards. Sorry for the bad news about the, uh, the chests. Hope you guys got something good yesterday. Because um, if you didn't pull a beta pack or title or anything like that yesterday, it's going to be 10 times harder uh, to get it uh, going forward. But the thing is, it is meant to be a jackpot. It is meant to be uh, incredibly rare to get, and it will be so. It's going to be incredibly rare to get those jackpots. But I'm going to still play. It's going to still, uh, you know, do my Splinter Forge, Gullum Overlord, and Splinter Lands every day. Build up my glint and try my luck so hope you guys are doing well let me know what you think of the changes if you got um, any good cards uh, thank you for all the responses yesterday and as always stay the course keep on forging have fun we'll see you soon